here to Forest Park in Northern Thailand, and it has these really cool structures. Uh, looks like where a lot of erosion happened, kind of wore the ground away and left all these kind of cool looking columns around. And uh, so right now I'm kind of exploring this, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for snakes and turtles, of course. Um, but I also wanna say that uh, just hit a thousand subscribers. So I wanna thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel, watches it. Um, couldn't have done it without all of you guys. Uh, moving forward, gonna be a lot more videos, gonna keep pushing the quality, uh, gonna keep pushing the uh, kind of the content and everything. I wanna do more, I wanna keep making more. Um, and I really want you guys to be involved. And I'm also gonna do a giveaway. So down in the comments, I want you guys to comment what your favorite video is that you've seen of mine and what you learned the most watching my channel. And the best comment is gonna win. I'm gonna give you a package. I'm gonna send you a bunch of stuff in a box and hope you like it. And uh, so yeah, that'll be it. And then I'll announce the winner in a later video. So thanks for watching you guys and enjoy this video. Yeah, I'm walking this rice field right now, uh, looking for snakes. There's a pretty wide variety of stuff that could be out here. Uh, everything from cobras and Burmese pythons to Asian rat snakes and uh, redneck keelbacks, which are the only uh, venomous and poisonous snake. So it'd uh, be really interesting to see this stuff. Give it a respectful distance because I am kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, wish me luck. So I think I should address uh, the bit of the uh, elephant in the room, and that is uh, what it's like to travel through Asia uh, during a period of time when there's a massive, somewhat terrifying viral outbreak. Um, you know, when I first flew out here, you know, we were looking at what was going on and it didn't seem that, that bad, I guess is the way to put it, and it seemed pretty localized. And where we were going was, you know, US stop in South Korea, land in Bangkok. And, you know, just during the flight, during going through the airports and everything, everything was pretty, everybody was using a lot of hand sanitizer, everybody was wearing masks, everybody was wearing gloves. It was pretty sanitary and it didn't really feel like there was much risk for anything. And kind of watching the news and seeing what's going on, it's, you know, you, you watch it spread and all that. And it's easy to get paranoid. It's easy to start freaking out um, luckily I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere um, it, it's good and it's bad you you do get concerned about it and you know it's very likely that I'm probably gonna head back early um, because the US is probably gonna want me to go through a 14 day stay-at-home period where make sure I don't have anything or haven't picked up anything um, but it is a little bit hair-raising um, I'm not gonna lie but uh, when you when you go around and you see, you know, for the most part, everybody's pretty well attuned to what's going on and everybody's been really good about being sanitary and doing everything they can to make sure that this doesn't turn into a bigger issue. Um, but did want to kind of talk about that. It's definitely uh, not what I planned on. He wants to get me so bad. <laughs> much larger, much larger crab right here. Got some, got some years on him.
my first snake of the trip. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Look at it later. Oh, oh, lizard. Let's see if we can get him to go up this tree. Go for it, buddy. Ah! <laughs> 